Did you know the CIA used these songs as a form of torture? Well, you can't tell by the way I- yep, most certainly the CIA has used music to control people and torture them. And um, if you want to look further into uh, the mechanization of that and the engineering of that, uh, I highly recommend this this book. Um, the PDF is available on Google. You can just type it in and look it up and read it. Um, there's also other books about the Tavistock Institute that are good as well. Uh, this one's just free. That's why I recommend it. Um, there's a few more books I want to recommend that offer a lot of information uh, regarding the deep state and uh, Hollywood and pop culture. This is another book I heavily recommend. It exposes the creation of the counterculture movement of the 60s and is extremely telling and goes in depth about LSD being a creation of the government and how this whole movement is counterfeit. And that's why it has so much correlation to mystic schools of thought and counterfeit peace. Uh, But yeah, all the music from this generation, you'll see it tie into the Tavisock Institute from the PDF from um, the last clip. I've brought this book up before. It sheds a lot of light on the programming that I've experienced and the programming that many others have experienced. And I just um, am very grateful that this book exists because we are called to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. And in order to be wise as serpents, um, like, I believe it's important to understand the symbols in Hollywood, the esoteric symbols, because it, uh, we can protect ourselves better if we know what we're looking at. Um, I'm gonna put up one more book. And here's one more really good one, uh, that will reveal a lot of monarch programming as well. And, um, I just... I just pray that anybody who does read these books, like, please pray before you read them because the information is heavy and um, you do need the Holy Spirit to be able to read some of the content in these things because it's going to weigh on your soul. And um, to help others, we have to have Jesus in our heart, Jesus in our spirit, because he's the only, he's the only cure for monarch programming. Like, don't listen to Fritz Springmeier when he talks about monarch programming because he doesn't talk about Jesus, but Jesus is the only way to cure monarch programming. And monarch programming is caused by our government, CIA, etc. like the beginning of the video. Check it out.